as promised uh, we're going to unbox a 24 volts 1 kilowatt snaddy inverter so what you're looking at is the 1 kilowatt 12 volts and on the other side is the 24 volts 1 kilowatt so we're going to unbox this so I just bought this earlier so what makes the two different and also on the next video I'm going to discuss what are the particle uh, practical uses should you go for a 12 volts battery or a 24 volts battery and after the series I'm going to raffle this off so stand by and we're going to start so bought this one earlier from the distributor uh, this one is a snaddy 24 volts still the same one kilowatt and we're going to check what's the difference between the two and also discuss the practical applications whether which to choose is 12 volts right for you or this 24 volts is right for you but in the meantime we're going to check the difference between the two in terms of packaging what's inside and also its electronics what's the difference okay so all cut up and So, same as the 12 volts, you have the serial cable, the installer, and the manual. Okay, so let's open this up. Now, let's remove. Okay. So it's really brand new. So system construction wise is the same as you can see. You can feel that the two buttons inside are still present on the function and off. The same battery connectors, AC output, and it's AC input output also connectivity. So it's uh, with the case cover shielded and the same circuit protection. So the same fan. Uh, so I think it's better to open the other one and model is the 1 kilowatt 24 volts VDC so it's manual and let's check the other side same manual okay just to have a comparison oh yes so they have both have remote port RS232 the same battery and everything all identical as you can see so not much when it comes to physical structure or design they are both the same 
So, next, we're going to open it up. So it's physically, it's be, uh, both are basically similar. So let's have the, okay, remove this. Let's have the other 12 volts side by side so that we'll be able to see the similarities. So this is your 24 volts and this is your 12 volts. So this is for the 24 volts. I think they have the same four buttons on it. So we will just need to open this up and oops and verify for the purposes of this unboxing. the same thing you have switch one two three and four so nothing has changed both 12 volts and 24 volts has the same buttons and inputs okay let's leave this aside and let's do a comparison aha now we can see it's very interesting okay let's put a little bit closer on this thing so first you can see that the 12 volts on the second toroid or small toroid is 12 that one is 24 and this side it's IGBT it's four and this one is only three so this is the 12 volts you have four power transistors one two three four on the sides it's also four and the 24 volts is three one two three one two three and also let's check yes it's one two three it's only three here so on the rs232 riser so i think not much so it's more on the igbt and also in your secondary toroid 
the small one which is 24 volts because the main toroid as you can see you have 160 190 220 to 250 50 and 60 hertz on this side oops let's So that's 160, 190, 220 to 250. This is on the 12 volt side. And where's the hertz? Interesting. Maybe it's the labeling only. But physically, if you can check, they are the same only with changes on the power transistor or the IGBT so you have the uh, cable for the power how many let's see how many relays so that's one two three four five relays small IE core on the other side same you have the same riser and this one also has five okay so i guess that's it and thumbs up if you like the video and next video i'm going to discuss which do you want to choose are you going for 24 volts or 12 volts this one or 24 volts so structure wise they're the same but it's power this one is only three and this one is only this one is four so okay as you can see they are the same inside outside except for some components the caps four same here four okay thumbs up and good night